Another comedy vlog. Here we go. Headed to China Casino this weekend. It's in Semecula. I'm there Thursday through Sunday. I haven't done a road geek like this in a while. So I'm excited to do it. Road shows are essential for any comics development. Like sometimes I'll see these LA comedians performing and they just perform in LA. And you can tell like, you know, they're just too comfortable. And versus the guys who like mix in the road shows, those guys are, are beasts. Like I protected this gig. I said no to auditions and weekend things for this gig. And the money's not even that great, but I feel like this is a, a must must do gig if I'm gonna really, you know, take Bobby kind of the next level. Friday morning, finished the first show last night. Uh, it was half full. This is my hotel room, by the way. Very luxurious. I honestly, I felt kind of depressed afterwards. <laughs> you finish performing and you work so hard for these jokes and then people don't even care. You know, they're like, oh, great job. And they walk out like, I don't know what I want them to do, but you know, then you're just walked around the casino like in solitude and got a brownie by myself in this cafe. And I was like, man, is this, this is the life? I, I, that, that always happens whenever I do these road gigs sometimes. I'm like, is this the life I want? Yeah, it's kind of empty sometimes. Remember I was a door guy at this club called the Boston Comedy Club in New York City. And uh, a comedian named Russ Maneev told me, he goes, this business will take away a lot from you. But don't let it take away your health. So, I become really obsessive about just working out. Now one of my favorite things to do before the show is pick out what Bobby Khan's gonna wear. Uh, it's loosely based on my years working on a Bollywood TV show and the outfits these Bollywood stars have are just ridiculous. Like they just wear whatever they wanted. Now I actually wore these sunglasses in the Bobby Khan movie uh, feature, but the problem is <laughs> they're kind of tinted and I used to wear them on stage and I couldn't see anything. So people would be talking to me and be like, who the hell is talking to me? So I switched now to like yellow on stage. It's like these driving glasses and it's so much better. I made it, I'm performing at this big wall here in the jungle. I made it successfully in showbiz now. Yeah. Yes, thank you, thank you very much. This is, this is my last show that I'm proud to retire, but I made it all the way to the top of the mountain. Or maybe the middle of the mountain, I'm not really sure, but can you guys go to Disneyland? What a rocking place that is. People, there's a thing called a Magic Pass bracelet. Do you guys know what this is? You wear a Magic Pass bracelet, everything's magically charged to the bracelet. Tickets, drinks, you know, food, whatever you want. I went in the morning, now I magically owe $86,000. <laughs> Back in my room now, it's almost midnight. The Saturday night shows went well. Uh, it was best show of the week. The uh, 7.30 show was packed and felt good. But to reward myself for being diligent and like being a good person, I got this fruit tart thing. I'm just gonna <laughs> eat this on my bed. Life's crazy on the road. It's, man, I got girls in my bathroom actually. Honey, honey, oh, I gotta go.